friends, it is Kate here. Thank you so much for jumping on my channel and joining me for a class today. I have got a 20 minute beginner Pilates class just for you. Go ahead, roll out your mat. We'll begin on our stomach today. Okay, now that we are on our stomachs, on our mat, I want you to open your elbows wide, side to side, and bring one palm on top of the other. Now from here, set your forehead on your hands. Think of pressing down into the mat with the both of your arms and pressing your forehead lightly into your hands. Imagine I'm pulling your ears away. Now think about that spot underneath your belly button. Could you almost pull your belly button away from the mat? Could you lengthen a little bit longer through your low back? That lumbar spine, that area near the base of our pelvis, can be very sensitive, very delicate. So we wanna pay special mind to it anytime we're in a prone position. If you are letting your tummy fall forward, if you feel like you are arching or swaying in your back a little bit, I would rather you almost round through that spot and really think of lifting up through the lumbar spine and keep it nice and long. From here, all I want us to do is press lightly into the tops of the feet so we can turn on our leg muscles. And then from here, I want us to keep our head right where it is, tone that spot where your thigh and your glute connect so much, you could hold a pencil there, take a big inhale, and then exhale, lift your right foot up. <sighs> inhale, set your right foot down. Exhale, lift it up. <sighs> set it right back down. As you lift and lower, do you notice any movement in that lumbar spine we already talked about. There can be some dynamic stability. You might move a little bit, but what I don't want is that feeling of dumping all of our weight forward and bringing it down. Moving the pelvis as little as possible is our goal. Two more, exhale up, inhale lower, last one up, inhale lower, hold. From here, same thing to the other side. Exhale up, inhale lower, exhale up, inhale lower. Two more, exhale up, inhale lower, Last one up and down. Now both feet together. I want you to tone that stomach so much. I want you to find that length in your low back. Keep as much as you possibly can as you exhale, lift both feet, inhale lower. Exhale, lift both feet, inhale lower. Is there any tension in your neck? Could you relax it? Maybe put a smile on your face, even if we feel a little silly, who cares? Two more, exhale up. Inhale, lower. Last one, I want you to lift the legs up and stay. Are you dumping everything forward? Can you lengthen that spine? It's not about how high your legs are lifted away from the mat at all. Now from here, I want you to open your legs to about as wide as the mat as you inhale. Exhale, bring them back together. <sighs> inhale, open them wide. Exhale, back together. <sighs> inhale, open. Exhale, tone your inner thighs towards one another. <sighs> inhale, open. Exhale, squeeze that spot where your thigh and your glute connect. <sighs> Last one, inhale, open. Exhale, squeeze them together and stay. Tone your belly button. Almost imagine there's a great big rubber band around your thighs, keeping them together without letting them separate. Inhale, drop the toes down, exhale, lift up. <sighs> inhale, drop the toes down, exhale, lift up. <sighs> Two more, inhale, drop. Exhale, lift. <sighs> Last one, drop. Exhale, lift, stay. Take a great big breath and relax. Give yourself a little wiggle. Hopefully we feel that in the back of our body. Now from here, let's lie on our side. And I'm gonna be a little bit specific right now, but I want the side of your body, and now I'm lying on my left side if you wanna be the same as me, but the left side of my body is back up against the edge of my mat. Not at the front, but at the back. So I've got all that mat in front of me. That's on purpose. Because from here, I want you to bring your toes towards that front corner of your mat. So it's almost like you're in kind of a, a funny little V shape. Once you find that space where your toes are reaching towards that front corner of your mat, I want you to bring your hand by your um, down for a little kickstand and then bend both knees like you're sitting in a chair. Now it was very easy here to let our side belly just kind of fall down to the floor. I want you to think about that belt that we often talk about around the small of our waist, lately cinching in, that someone has just hooked their fingers on that belt and lifted you up and away. It's almost like you're trying to create space between your side belly and the floor. Find more space shoulder to shoulder and bring your hand to your hip. Flex both feet. It should almost look like you're sitting in a chair if someone came and looked at you from this side. Now from here, 
a couple of options too with the head just as an FYI head can stay just like it is for me you could also relax down if that works better in your body but tone your stomach so much that little belt loop ooh, it's hooking someone is lifting it up take a big inhale now I want you to lift your right leg up inhale drop it down exhale lift that leg up inhale drop it down two more exhale lift up lower down last one lift up stay actively flex that foot take a great big inhale now as you exhale straighten your leg reaching it down hold right there take a great big inhale exhale slowly pull it in inhale hold keeping the knee lifted there should be a little space between your legs exhale straighten Stay for the inhale, hold right here. Hand can be on your hip just like I am, or it could be down, you could even take it up to the sky. If that helps keep that space between your shoulders nice and open, big inhale. Pull it back in. Let's go a little faster. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Two more, inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Last one, inhale, straighten and stay. Reach long through the back of that heel. Lift up through your side belly even more. And then from here, can we rotate our legs so our toes are pointing up to the sky and then bring our leg back to parallel. Now it may look like my ankle is doing the work here. Like that's why my toe is changing directions, but it's because my inner thigh is opening and then it's closing. Open and then close. Two more, open and then close. Last one, open, stay. From here, take a great big inhale. Without pressing down into the mat, without letting that side belly touch the mat at all, exhale, lift the leg up. You don't have to go far. Inhale, bring it back down. Exhale, lift up, tone the belly. Inhale, drop it right back down. Three more, exhale, lift up, tone the belly. Lower right back down. Two more, exhale up. Inhale, lower. Last one, exhale up. Inhale, lower, stay. Rotate that foot so it's facing towards um, parallel. Again, take a breath. Pull the leg in and set it down. Give yourself a little wiggle, a little relax. And then before we switch to our second side, one more thing, a little more challenging. Instead of having our feet touching that front corner of the mat, we are now going to bring them to the back edge. So our body is one long line. Now if this feels too wiggly, too wobbly already, you can bend that front knee and leave it in place. If you wanna take it up a notch, bring your leg down with me. If your leg is straight down, like mine is, this is a spot where we actually do want to press into the side of our body, lengthening out to that lateral side because I want us to lift up. Now notice I kind of inched myself away, that's so I can lengthen that side of my body as much as possible. Hand can be down as a little kickstand, or again, if it feels better for us, your leg can go back to our starting spot. But otherwise, I want you to squeeze those inner thighs in towards one another, just like we did when we were lying on our tummy, and imagine you've got a great, big, tight uh, rubber band around your inner thighs. Go ahead, point those toes, reach long from the tip of your toes through your body out the top of your head. And then from here, I want you to inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, squeeze your inner thighs together. <sighs> inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, squeeze, pull them back together. <sighs> Two more, inhale up. Exhale, back together. <sighs> Last one, inhale up. Exhale, back together, hold. Squeeze those inner thighs in. Pull your belly button up and in. Find that length through your left side. Take a great, big, full inhale and relax. Whew, doesn't that feel good? Go ahead, let's flip to our second side. So we'll just roll over however you'd like to. And we'll lie on down. Now again, both sides can be incredibly different. So if on this side, it would feel better for you to relax a little this way. That's fine, or move in some other fashion. What I do want us to focus on at first is bringing that back edge of our body in line with the, um, the back edge of the mat and taking our toes to the front corner. Relax, take a moment, settle here, and let's think about that side belly. Tone the stomach. You've got your um, little belt on and someone has looped their finger around it and lifted up. Ooh, everything in my body turns on just a little bit more. And look at that, I lengthen through my low back naturally without even thinking about that. 
Hand can be down on your side or as a little kickstand and then bend the knees. Did anything change in our body as we did that? Take a great big inhale, flex your feet, exhale, lift your leg up. <sighs> inhale, drop it down. Exhale, lift it up. <sighs> inhale, drop it down. Exhale, lift it up. Last one, lift it up, stay. Cinch that belly, broaden your shoulders side to side. Great big full inhale. Exhale, extend, lengthen, stay for the inhale. Imagine I am pulling your ankle out and away. You are lifting that side belly up. Smile as you feel so long and beautiful. Big inhale, exhale, pull it in. Stay for the inhale. Exhale, reach it out. Hold for the inhale. Exhale, bring it in without letting yourself slouch onto the mat. Two more, slow and steady like this at your own pace. Remember, you can always go a little faster, a little slower, maybe what I might recommend. Now let's go a little faster if we're in the mood. Inhale, straighten, exhale, tone the tummy bend. <sighs> Inhale, strengthen, exhale, lift up away from the mat as you bend. <sighs> Three more, inhale, straighten, exhale, bend. <sighs> Two more, straighten, exhale, bend. <sighs> Last one, straighten and stay. Reach long through that leg, open and broad. Hand can be here or you could bring it down and we're going to lightly rotate back and forth a couple of times. Have you forgotten about the back of your body at all? Could you tone that spot where your thigh and your glute connect just a little bit more? Let's do three and two. Last one, hold right there. Great big full inhale. Without letting yourself slouch down, Exhale, lift the foot up. Inhale, bring it down. Exhale, lift the foot up. Inhale, bring it down. Exhale, tone the tummy. You turn all those muscles on. Lower right back down. Two more, lift it on up. Lower right back down. Last one, lift it up. Lower it down. Relax. Give yourself a little wiggle. Now again, our bottom leg can stay exactly where it is or if we do want to take it up a notch, bring those legs down. Start to lift your feet up. And again, if we need to adjust, if you need to situate in a different way, that is a-okay. But from here, find all that space now through the right side of our body. Tone the stomach a little bit more. While it's almost like we're in a little bit of a side crunch right here, I want you to think of growing long, long, long out the top of our head while we do find that ee, tiny little curl. And then squeeze your inner thighs together. Take a great big full inhale. Exhale, tone the tummy. <sighs> Inhale, lift. Exhale, bring it back down. <sighs> Inhale, lift. Exhale, bring it right back down. <sighs> Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bring it right back down. <sighs> Last one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bring it down and stay. Belly button pulls up and in. You've got that tight band around your legs, keeping everything pulling up and in. Have you fat or forgotten about lengthening through your low back? Are you letting yourself down forward? I hope not. Find that beautiful long line. Take a great big full inhale and relax. Full breath. And then from here, we are going to lie on our back. Stamp your feet into the floor. Find length through the back of your body. We should feel all of those muscles through um, our tushy and through our hips, probably turned on a little bit more. Float your fingertips up and away, shoulders down the back. Broaden and lengthen from the tip of your tail through your spine out the top of your head. Take a big inhale. Exhale, curl yourself up. If this is too much for us today, bring your hand behind your head. That's always okay. Now from here, reach longer away, fold from the sternum, curl up half an inch higher, take a great big inhale, and then five times, inhale, float your fingertips up, exhale, press down. <sighs> inhale, float the fingertips up, exhale, press down. <sighs> Three more, inhale, lift up, exhale, press down. <sighs> Two more, inhale, lift up, exhale, press down. <sighs> Last one, inhale, lift up, exhale, press down, and hold. Great big full inhale and relax down. Reach your fingertips nice and long. Find that length through the body. Big sigh out. <sighs> Bend the knees once more, hands down by your side, palms into the floor. And then from here, inhale, peel the pelvis up. Find space from your knees 
to your hips, all the way down to your shoulders on the ground. Lift up just a hint higher. This is not a yoga bridge. We're not trying to open and expand through the chest. You're still drawing everything in. Think about that rubber band we've had around our inner thigh or our outer thighs all day, lightly squeezing in towards one another. Turn on that spot where your thigh and your glute connect. Take a great big full inhale. Exhale, gently roll yourself down. <sighs> Inhale, pick up the pelvis, roll yourself up. Exhale, roll right back down. <sighs> Last one, pick up the pelvis, hold. Squeeze that spot where your thigh and your glute connect a little bit more. Take a great big breath. Roll down, stay. Keep your left foot exactly where it is. Lengthen the right. Now notice, when you set that right foot down, do you arch your back? I hope not. We want to keep imprinting the spine. We want to feel that length through the back of our body. For me, stamping down into my left foot and thinking about growing along out my spine is going to be helpful. Bring your left hand to your left hip, right hand down by your side. Feel your shoulders press into the mat behind you. Take a great big inhale. Tone your stomach so much you lift your foot up. Inhale, bring it right back down. It may or may not touch the floor. Exhale, lift up. As you lift and lower, I simply want you to think about keeping the small of your back long as it can possibly be. Two more, inhale down, exhale lift, inhale down, exhale lift and stay. Reach long through that leg, press into the back of the body and then let's rotate the leg for five, four, three, two, last one. This time, rotate the leg out and stay. So we've got a little bit of turnout going on. Have you forgotten about pressing deeper into that left foot or lengthening through your low back? Cinch the waist, draw the ribs in. Great big inhale. Now this time, exhale, lower the foot down without releasing the small of the back and lift up. Exhale, lower down. <sighs> Inhale, lift up and lengthen. Three more, exhale, lower down. <sighs> Inhale, lift up and lengthen. With that hand on your hip, do you notice any movement or are you staying totally still? If you're moving a little bit, that happens. Not the end of the world, but ideally we want to stay in place. Last one down, lift up, take a breath. Rotate the leg back to center, pull it in and stamp it on the floor. Now this time, right hand to right hip, left hand down to the side. That left arm is there as a, as a big kickstand. We want to press down into the back of our shoulder the entire time. Well, again, we lengthen through the small of our back. Keep your little nose pointing straight up to the sky and extend the leg long. Again, did you arch? I hope not. Let's imprint. Let's pull that belly button up and in. If you need to immediately float your foot up so you can keep that leg imprint or back imprinted, that's of course fine. Big inhale wherever you are. Exhale, tone the tummy lift. <sighs> inhale, drop it down. Exhale, tone the tummy lift. <sighs> inhale, drop it down. Three more. Exhale, stamp down into your right foot as you lift up. Inhale, bring it right back down. Two more. <sighs> and lower. Last one, lift and stay. Imagine I am holding onto your ankle, pulling it away while you are pressing down into your right foot on the floor, your left hand on the floor, and the backs of your shoulders. And let's rotate our leg for five, four, three, and two. Last one, rotate out and hold. Grow longer out that leg. Stamp deeper into your right foot. Inhale to prepare. Now exhale, drop. <sighs> Inhale, lift up. Exhale, drop without letting the small of your back move away. Keep going at your own pace. Lightly moving up and down. Also remember, if you breathe at a different time than I do, it's really not the end of the world. In Pilates, in yoga, the breath is about mindfulness, being especially mindful of using it to help us. Last time, lift that leg, rotate it, pull it in and stay. Walk your feet a little bit closer in towards your sitting bones. Fingertips down by your sides, small of the back into the mat. Broaden those shoulders, inhale, peel yourself up and stay. Tone your thut. That spot where your thigh and your glute connect, lift up a hint higher. Think of opening up through the front of your hips. Take a great 
big deep inhale exhale gently roll down inhale lift up lengthen exhale roll down relax two more inhale lift up lengthen roll down relax last one lift up and stay tone that spot where your thigh and your glute connect keep your nose pointing straight up to the sky press deeper into your left foot take a great big inhale exhale lift your right foot up inhale bring that foot down to the ground exhale lift your left foot up drop it down lift the right are you thinking about the small of your back we want to keep it as long and steady as we can just like we have throughout the entire class last one lift the left leg up set it right back down realign the hips broaden your shoulders big inhale roll all the way down to the mat extend the legs nice and long reach your fingertips far away find a great big stretch to your body maybe pull your knees in give yourself a little rock and roll all the way up to a seat and wherever you are give yourself a great big pat on the back say thank you for doing something just for yourself thanks so much for joining me today my friends i certainly hope you enjoyed give me a like subscribe let me know what you think in the comments and as always have a beautiful and joyful day